Welcome everyone, welcome to another preview. This is Metal Canyon and we will be previewing a game by Black Shell Games called Sanctuary RPG The Black Edition. It's a roguelike RPG um, in ASCII. It's basically it. <laughs> yes, everything is in ASCII. This is a blast from the past if you want, even though, you know, it's been only fully released uh, about a week ago or so, on the 13th of February. And um, yeah, it wants to be completely old school. I mean, really old school in the way of the uh, old ASCII RPGs. Which, I guess it's sort of obvious. So, um, you know, there's no mouse control, really. Uh, everything you do, you do with a keyboard. But don't let that put you off. So, over here we have the play, settings, trials, and credits. So, you know, you, you put in your number and you press enter and that's it. For example, if I want to uh, turn on the tutorial, I press 1 and enter. And so on and so forth. Uh, you can, you know do music you can completely turn it off or you can use z and x to uh, increase or decrease the volume which is pretty cool so anyway let's go back and let's play it a little bit i've only slain four enemies because i suck all right so <clears throat> first of all of course we have to create our character we have the tutorial off because i don't want to go through the tutorial for the purposes of the preview so we can create a barbarian a paladin assassin wizard druid or a ranger obviously you know each will have different stats and different ways of combat the barbarian will be uh you know melee oriented the paladin the same but with uh, some spells to back him off the assassin probably very melee oriented but low on health with high damage output the wizard i kind of like because because, you know, I always sort of like wizards, magic users, and so on. Druid could be quite interested as well, and the ranger, but I'll do uh, the wizard for now. You're a wizard, and enjoy copious amounts of intelligence. What do you lack in brawn, you more than make up for in smarts. You blast enemies with magic and place curses on their mothers. Casting spells is what you were born to do, and you do it well. Let's do X. If I ever get too low on mana, I can just dip into my trust fund. Now, there's um, detailed perks. There's loads of perks you can have here. I don't know if you can actually do anything with these. I really don't know. Uh, it doesn't seem possible to select anything. You can just, you know, show detailed perks or not. Uh, but anyway, they say the best offense is a good defense. Just kidding. That's just me. <laughs> Barrier stacks increase attack power by 10% per stack. So, you know, you've got various perks that will uh, change how your character behaves. So anyway, let's uh, create a male uh, body type. Now, this is interesting. It's not just a visual because most of the time you don't see your character. So let's do a question mark. Now, the tiny gives us plus one dexterity and minus one strength. The thin one, plus one dexterity, minus one vitality, and so on and so forth. So what I really want over here is more dexterity, but not minus vitality. I won't be using strength because I'm a wizard, so I'll pick the tiny one, the tiny body type. So we'll be more dexterous, which means we'll be a little better at evading stuff and have less strength, which we don't really need, as we said. Character name, let's be metal. You can see on the screen, we're quite tiny already. Select augment. This spot doesn't do much of anything, old potato. I think you unlock these as you progress through the game. And now we can choose our appearance. Um, we can scramble it randomly. You know. Ugh. Apparently you can also have... Um, ugh. Let's beat this guy. You can also have glasses. And we'll get to that in a little bit as well. <laughs> Let's finalize this. Uh, place of origin. Northern area, the ability to bend the mystical elements, the strength to take down enemies with force, or the endurance to withstand brutal attacks. Hmm, beat act 1 on classic or lunatic mode to unlock and so on and so forth. You can see, you have to replay the game several times to unlock uh, more stuff. And as you will find out, replaying the game is quite a lot of fun. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's, um, the ability to bend the mystical elements. Let's do that. Alright. And now we select the race, either human, Asilian, or Crast. Uh, I will take the Crast because it's a nomadic race of ice people. They love to procreate often. Well, not because of that, it's because they uh, grant a 5% chance to freeze enemies per turn. They deal bonus damage per turn to enemy based on intelligence. And enemy takes damage equal to your uh, mana points per turn. So, I mean, that's just pretty crazy. G great for a um, wizard, I would say. There we go. 
Now we can choose the game mode, either classic, which has no respawns, death is permanent, and uh, have all the items, you know, drop that can, or you can go softcore, which uh, means death is just a major setback. So, uh, not recommended. There's also lunatics in survival, but we don't have those unlocked yet. We'll go for the classic. Play intro cinematic, we're gonna say no for the moment, so I don't want to spoil anything. Your name is Metal. You're a wizard of crass descent. You were born without a bladder. You used the restroom a lot more than most. Raised by an anteater, you became a god among women in bed. Drinking someone else's mil milkshake has been your biggest regret. Want to enjoy sports? You are very fond of balls. Half an hour ago, you laid around waiting to get mauled. A brilliant light momentarily blinds you. Out of nowhere, a woman appears and tosses you two moldy bananas. You put a cucumber up your bum and immediately regret it. <laughs> this is your story, so... Yeah, you can see that um, the game is very tongue-in-cheek. It doesn't really take itself too seriously, which is kind of good. <clears throat> oh my, I didn't see you there, unknown stranger. What in the world? Why are you naked? Here, have some items. Quickly, you must head to gate 16. There we go. You have received a heavy crate of gold pieces. And we open it. Ah, we the old weapon, we have nothing, obviously. So we're going to equip the new weapon, which is normal pelter. Uh, as you can see, it's much better than a normal fists because it has three attack instead of zero. It gives us plus one strength and plus one dexterity. And our fists give us nothing. Goodbye, fists. You never did anything for us. Let's equip it. You can also salvage it. Or you can press the question mark, which will uh, give you um, all of this stuff. Interesting. If it's bountiful, salvages for 400% value and so on and so forth. That's a lot of stuff. All right, anyway, let's equip it. Item equipped. Okay, so we're here in, I think this is a forest. Uh, we have our stats over there, HP, uh, our attack, which is pretty high actually. <laughs> uh, and our mana points and how much gold we have. We have to reach gate 16. Now, unlike the really old school, uh, old RPGs, you don't say, go north, go east, and so on and so forth. You just have options down in the lower left. You can see that we only have one option, which is gate 16. We also can uh, press G for campground or C for character, for example. So it uh, gives us our um, stats. Uh, we have, you know, obviously a name. We have a normal pelter for the weapon. We don't have any armor, shield, or charms. And our stats and so on and so forth. Uh, we also have inventory, nothing there. Uh, can't assign any stats and skills, but we do have some mastery points. And we're going to put it into magic mastery. There we go. Now, you might say that, oh god, ASCII art. I hate ASCII art. Well, if you're one of those people, yeah, then perhaps the game will not really be for you. Uh, but then again, on the other hand, it doesn't really cater just to uh, the old school people who like this type of stuff. Now, the reason why this game is so much fun to play, even though it's a bit of a grind fest at, um, you know, certain points, um, it is rather enjoyable to play. And the reason for this is obviously not the amazing graphics, but just because the game is so sort of simply presented and has a very nice sort of music and sound effects track. Now, so the sound effects are fairly subtle. Well, the music is even subtler, but the sound effects are sort of subtle, sort of old school-ish, uh, but very nice at the same time. Perhaps even a little out of place in an ASCII old school RPG, because some of these sound effects are quite clear. You'll uh, see what I mean. Let's go to gate 16. There we go. <gasps> it's a blue slime. A mighty blue slime is up ahead. A mighty blue slime is currently blocking your path. Blue slime is ready to fight. <clears throat> so up there, we have the slime and it's um, health... I wanted to say health package or health pool. That was weird. Yeah, it's a slime and it wants to destroy us or maybe eat us. And on the bottom, I mean, below it, we have our health and attack and so on and so forth. Now, we don't see exactly how many hit points it has uh, because it's shrouded. It's hidden. So we don't know. Now we have several attacks possible. And the game works sort of... You build up your attacks to do a massive attack at the end, if you can. Uh, with starters, linkers, and then finishers. Now, we're gonna start with a fireball. 
which actually replenishes our mana points, but that doesn't really uh, apply here at the moment. So we're gonna do that. There we go. You have hit the blue slime for 76 damage. Blue slime has bounced on your for 5 damage. Obviously, this is the first enemy, so it's not gonna do a lot. Now we can either reposition, which sort of um, serves as a breaker. If, um, you know, you can dodge charges, you can uh, get away from being locked on. Yes, I did say locked on in a fantasy RPG. You'll so soon see why. Um, or you can do a linker. Which will, uh, you know, link this attack to the previous one and give you access to more powerful attacks. So let's do an Electrocute. Bzz. For 84 damage, we have grazed it. And it did 3 damage to us. Now we're gonna do another Linker, which is the Energy Nova. It'll actually expend 10 mana points. Bang, 110 damage. And it did 5 damage to us. Now we're gonna do the Final Blast, which is a finisher. And that will expend 20 mana points, 300% attack, and 100% crit. Bam! Oh! That was only 213, interesting. Okay, so we start again. Let's do a uh, life tap to restore some of our uh, health. 74 damage. We're gonna ignite it. Bang! You have hit blue slime for 65 damage. And let's do an immolate. Bang! And let's do a finisher, a mending beam, 500% attack, 378 damage, that was nice. Let's do another fireball. There we go, blue slime is dead. Listen closely, my name is Diane. Take the grassy road to the north, the matron must be stopped at all costs. Good luck, Metal. Now, uh, you might, you know, you might have said, oh, that was a bit boring, that uh, fighting, just attack, attack, attack. Well, it was the very, very first enemy. The, the game doesn't want to push you into something too horrible right at the beginning. Um, but, you know, enemies do sort of special attacks. You have to dodge them, you have to break uh, out of being stunned or webbed and so on and so forth. An item drop. What did we get? A normal worm hide. Oh, it's, um, it's armor, actually. That's good. Let's equip that. It's gonna give us four wisdom and six intelligence. That's quite nice. Level up! Yeah. We're gonna level up our intelligence, because it'll increase our damage by one, give us half max uh, MP, and more heal power. Let's do that. And we have more points. There. And we're gonna upgrade our... Hmm. Our max HP. There. And one mastery point, which we're going to put into uh, magic. Now we're in the... What is that on there? 77, 88, 99. Well, it said that if you see an 8... Oh! Crafting material fine. Chest opened. You have obtained one raw hide. Um, we'll get to that. Oh, that was sort of a... Loot minigame, I guess? I haven't seen that before. That was interesting. Let's go to the grassy fields. Oh, Noxious Thorngard skeleton is dozing off. That blue slime that you killed had a wife who misses him. That's the hint. <laughs> the game is full of this stuff that will make you chuckle or just, you know, plain laugh out loud. And uh, it's po it has poison. Hmm. Wait, or are we poisoned? That's weird. Uh, you unsheath your weapon. Skeleton is ready to engage. Let's do a fireball first. Oh. Sorry about that, skeleton. He's dead. <laughs> You have shattered the skeleton. Walk towards the burly figure up ahead. Let's investigate. Hey there. Welcome to Resthaven. The name's Blacksmith. Be careful of the terminal. It's guarding that the gate leading to the camp. You have unlocked the new abilities Ultimate plus Feral Ultimate. These are cool. As a wizard, your Feral push temporarily gives you infinite mana. Now these are cool because uh, you can do really massive finishers at the end. Let's go to um, our West Favor. Oh, Doomcaster Skeleton is dozing off. Strength is a stat that generally boosts your damage. It's got very little health, so let's just do this and bang. <laughs> Eliminated. Open gate 17 and defeat the terminal. Okay, let's do that first. Now this guy is funny. Fantasy RPG, right? The terminal awaits you. Beep bop, beep bop. <laughs> I will terminate you. <laughs> Translocation meter, lock. Now, this boss will attempt to lock onto you. If you reposition or run, the lock meter will be diminished. If the boss locks on, a missile will be launched at your face. 
which is not good. Mother figure acquired. Commencing Odip Odipal subroutine. Whatever that means. It's got a lot of health, as you can see. And up on there, next to the shrouded, is sort of an empty space where uh, it'll say lock. We need to avoid that. Let's start with a fireball. It's bashed us for 27 damage. Not too bad. Let's do another linker electrocute. It's shocked. You have hit the terminal for only 106 damage. We have to be uh, careful of our health as well, obviously. Let's uh, do an energy nova. Bang. Oh, it's critically bashed us for 48. That's not good. Uh, let's do a final blast. Excellent, 224 damage. Life tap, please. Oh, you can see one L there. It's in purple. Uh, ignite. Winding up for a breathtaking pummel. Okay, we need to be careful here. We need to reposition. Now, that will restore our 70 mana points. We don't really need that. But we can't do another linker at the moment. We need to reposition. It says you have repositioned yourself, reaching uh, recharging 70 MP. The terminal's attack has been dodged. If we didn't dodge that, it would be quite probably a lot of damage. But now we have law there. We just need a C and a K, and it'll have to. It'll be able to shoot a missile at us. Let's immolate it. Uh, 133. Let's do another finisher. Uh oh. Only one instance of master rays detected. Lock on speed upgraded. That's not good. The terminal has upgraded the missile launching application. Um, let's do a fireball. Uh oh. The terminal is stripping around. Press X to grapple. Oh, that's cool. That's different. Let's do that. You have grappled and thrown the terminal for 300 damage. <laughs> the terminal is dazed. Okay, let's electrocute it. It's stunned. Wow, that's good. Energy Nova. And it can't really do anything to us. It's still exposed. Let's do a final blast. 225 damaged. Oh, and we've dodged its attack at the moment. And it can't um, lock onto us. Life tap. Uh oh. Beep bop. My internal circuits are on fire. Woe is me. <laughs> It's burning, and it's stunned. Very nice. Oh, no, we're exposed. Sorry about that. Uh, ignited. It's still stunned. Immolate. Oh. The terminal has wounded you with a missile. I wasn't paying attention there. Uh, that's bad. We want to heal that. So I'm going to do a dazing heal. The terminal has hit your exposed face for 50 damage, but we have healed ourselves for 688. Don't worry. Later enemies will do quite a lot of damage to us, but we can now see that the terminal has a total of 6,000 XP. Let's do another life tap. Uh, it's charging, or it's preparing to charge, so we have to reposition now to dodge that. The terminal has bashed your exposed crotch. Ouch. Damn. I thought I could dodge that. Maybe I did. Oh, I've only hit it for 59. That was not good. Let's do another linker. It's now frozen and burning. <laughs> Let's do a finisher. Bang! Excellent. I don't know why, it's just fun doing these attacks. Shutting down. Please do not unplug or remove sword. <laughs> you sift through the wreckage of the terminal, examining microchips and circuit boards. Yep, it's an RPG fantasy game with lots of technology. What is this? Where does this machine come from? Not having enough answers, you bring the machine back to the blacksmith. This robot was built in the city of Kaldora. Really? How did you know that? The blacksmith throws you a broken memory chip. Made in Kaldora by Team Machinist Industries <laughs> is etched on the back. I've heard rumors about him. Some say he's brilliant, others say he's in league with that matron. You have to find this machinist if you uh, want more answers. But Kaldora is a long ways off from here. They say it's filled with robots. If you want to go there, you'd better get started now. During the night, the pieces of the terminal reassemble themselves and sneak out of the blacksmith's front door. You haven't seen the last of me. <laughs> I'll be back. As you prepare for the journey ahead, you come across a disheveled, wild-eyed local. Help us! Help! You stop to listen, wondering what's wrong. Some, some crazy man is killing people, harvesting them from organs. He feeds the scraps to some creature living in our town's monastery. That doesn't seem like a particularly plausible story, you inquire further. The crazy man calls himself a doctor. He showed up a few weeks ago and drove out the Brotherhood monks in the Great Monastery. He and his banded henchmen have been cutting people up and selling their organs. 
and feeding their remains to a creature chained up in the monastery basement. You nod solemnly, wondering whether you should help these people. The path to the monastery involves a lengthy detour, and you can't afford any distractions. The Brotherhood had a lot of valuables stashed in the monastery. The monks didn't take any of it when they ran. If you rid us of the doctor, everything's yours. Kaldor can wait. <laughs> <laughs> now, unfortunately, it doesn't give you the option of uh, selecting whether you want to go there or not. But, you know, it's just the game is just full of these puns and, and jokes and, and tongue-in-cheek stuff. Great job smashing up that terminal. I was worried for a second there. Uh-oh. Bumbling boogaloons. Bandits are coming. Ready your weapons. And we have obtained one soul shard, which, as you can see, is plainly a circuit board of some sort. Possibly an old AGP graphics card. <laughs> well, actually, AGP graphics card didn't even exist back then, when uh, ASCII RPGs were still in force. Hmm. Oh, whatever it is, might be a modem or something. Uh, you have shattered the terminal. Item drop. What did we get? You have obtained two raw hides. And level up. Let's put more into intelligence for now. Uh, maximum HP. Oh. Another level up. Because that thing was so difficult, apparently. More magic. Save the village! Destroy the raiders in the rogue camp! Now, you're in the village. You can go to the blacksmith, to the market, temple, library, camping ground... Oh, you can camp, you can see your character. You can go to the tavern or the coliseum. Lots of stuff to do. You can go to the blacksmith and, you know, sell stuff and so on. You also can press Q for a quest. You can hire mercenaries, I believe. You can, you can imbue your items. You can press T to talk to him and, you know, select different responses and so on. My favorite is this. If we go to the market, listen to the sound effect. It's great. I mean, there's sort of old school-ish music. And there's coins being, you know, flipped around at the table. It's brilliant. I don't know why I like it so much. It's There's no graphics, pretty much. It's just all ASCII. So anyway, this game is being sold right now on Steam for about... Ouch. Is it seven or is it eight? I'll give you the link down below. I don't want to say anything that uh, wouldn't be true then. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty damn low price. And I would say if you do enjoy stuff like this... I would definitely get it. It's <laughs> it's very well done, I would say. It's very fun. And um, a lot of the text, a lot of the dialogues will just make you chuckle. Um, it can be quite brutal, though. It's obviously a roguelike, and we are playing on Classic, so it means if we die, we're dead. That's it. So anyway, um, yeah. This was quite fun. And... Um, let's go to the main menu. There. Are you sure you want to save and exit to the main menu? Yes. So, this is the Sanctuary RPG Black Edition, and um, this is Metal Canyon, and I will see you in the next preview. Bye-bye.